Hi everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope everyone is keeping fine amidst this COVID crisis. And today we will learn one more experiment on virtual lab, how to do ADDER with the help of OPAM. And that we'll see virtually in this virtual setup. You are quite accustomed by now with this setup. And uh, to brief, just to type Google in Google, uh, virtual labs, then the homepage opens up. And over there, you scroll below, you get the electronics and communication section. From there, uh, you get to integrated circuit analysis and you come to this uh, window. And since this um, adder is there in integrated circuit analysis, so I have opened up this. Otherwise, uh, for normal um, inverting, non-inverting differentiator integrated, you can just go for the digital lab, okay? Over here also, you can find that. If you wish, you can also try a hand on it. So uh, moving on, we'll just uh, begin with adder, inverting adder. I'll do three input inverting adder with you today. And uh, over here, you get the aim of the experiment. Uh, you have to write this in your exam. And you have the theory, a brief theory is given, a circuit is given, and the basic working formula is provided over here. And it's a three input inverting adder is provided here. And uh, a small pre-test section is there in every uh, other in, uh, experiments also you have noticed this and you can also go for this test to see how much you know about this adder and clear your concept uh kindly go through the procedure before uh, starting your simulation and let's not elongate and just begin our simulation over here so i just wish to uh, enhance this a bit so that my entire section is uh, visible so this is actually uh, the case where you have to do your simulation and there is a question given here, but right now we are not going to uh, take that question. Uh, I just wish to show you how you can perform the experiment of three input uh, inverting adder and then we'll move on to the question if required. So uh, first, uh, this is a, a sort of breadboard, virtual breadboard. And over here, you have to select the op amp you wish to use and place somewhere around here. And just go slowly because uh, you are a beginner in this part. So uh, don't have to rush. Gradually pause my video and do a section at a time. So we need three resistances. So I place one resistance over here. It is prompting me to give the value. In college, during practical class, I have taken this R as one kilo and the RF, that is the feedback resistance, as 10 kilo. But over here, suppose I take this as uh, 10 ohms, okay? And I'll take all the three resistances uh, of the same order. Uh, so let's take this as 10 ohm. And I want to take one more. Sorry. I want to take one more. So it's somewhere around here. Uh, let's take that to be as 10 as well. So I have three resistances. I require a feedback resistance. Place this as well, somewhere around here. And let's take that to be as for timing. But for example, you can take as 10 kilo and one kilo. Okay. So uh, take this as one kilo and take this as 10 kilo and see how it turns out to be. And after that, I require a ground and I place the ground somewhere on here for my convenience. And I need a load. So these are the components, basic ones. Now I need to have uh, this supply. So place somewhere around here and let's take that to be as 1.5. This time take the one that is given in the task three uh, just for normal and just considering it. You can take as it is uh, given by your example. And let's take the B over here somewhere around here and placing it. And let's take this 2.5 and 
And third one that is BC, we uh, place somewhere around here and say it's fine. Be careful over here while you are typing. Okay. Now most of the things are done. I take the connection part. So connect these things very carefully and don't rush. Okay. Go through the theoretical section before starting your practical. And I hope you're aware of the formula of this output that is, it is actually V0 is equal to RF by uh, R1 or this value into V1 plus V2 plus V3. So a negative sign is there. Okay, so I'm connecting slowly all of them. Sometimes this pop-up box opens up, don't worry, it'll show unless your entire circuit is done. If you're stuck anywhere, just drop in a question in the chat box. I'll just answer each, each of your questions. So I am waiting here for two minutes. Let's see how you work out your words. So uh, now that my connection is almost over, I need a CRO I place somewhere around here. And this is the complete circuit you have to uh, give with the circuit diagram as well in your exam and show this page that you have worked up to your circuit. And after that, let's hit the on button, off on button. Once you hit this, your simulation process will start. And if your circuit is correct, then all these lines will turn green and the graph will be visible. So my simulation is running, you can see, and all the lines are green, that is my connection is correct. So this is an inverting, three input inverting adder using op amp. Now I wish to see the graph, how it has turned out to be. So and this will give you the graph over here. You have three inputs. This is my VA, the red one, the blue one is my VB, and the green one is my VC. And this black is the output as per the working formula. So you have a nature of the output being shown over here. And if you want to see any other circuit in this uh, format, in this picture, then you can uh, write to me. Also, I would suggest uh, task two and task one, you do on your own, just in case uh, over here in where B1 and B2 and B3 are the inputs, so that you just, a change to one volt, one volt, and one volt, and verify the results. They are saying this. And over here, another uh, uh, thing is given that you can choose the resistances, that is RA, RB, and RC in this format, okay? So suppose if you take 10, then first one should be half of 10, the next one should be one fourth of 10, and the last one should be one eighth of 10. And in this manner, you can set and see how it turns out to be. Show it to me in the chat box, or you can also mail me. And if you have any other queries related to circuits or uh, virtual lab, you can just write to me. Share this uh, program or share this uh, circuit to other students so that each and every student benefits from my work. Thank you all and stay safe until our next class. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the updated notice of the videos I upload. Okay, thank you. Take care.